Hi there, I'm Charlie and I'm joined here with Alison, a Customer Support Manager at Education Quizzes. Now we want to help you as parents with all the information you need to help your children through their education. And today we're looking at Key Stage 3. Uh, so Alison, tell me a little bit about Key Stage 3. Yes, of course. Children's education is split into four key stages. Uh, key Stage 3, or KS3, is part taught to children between the ages of 11 and 14. So it's the first three years of their secondary school? Yes. And how is it different to primary school education? Well, it's harder, of course. Uh, the topics covered are far more advanced. Uh, as you'd expect, I suppose. Yes, yeah. uh, but it's also a time of upheaval. Uh, children usually have to change schools, often to a much larger one than they're used to. Yeah, I suppose we all remember our first days of secondary school, don't we? Yeah, they can be quite overwhelming, can't they? New faces, new surroundings, uh, lots of different teachers. KS3 can take some getting used to. So as it's part of the national curriculum, are there certain subjects that have to be covered? Yes, uh, but they're not that different to those at primary school, only harder. Okay, and what are they? So there's three core subjects, uh, English, Maths and Science. Of course, yeah. Along with History and Geography, uh, Modern Foreign Languages, uh, Design and Technology, Art and Design, Music, PE, Citizenship and Computing. Is that all? No, schools also have to teach uh, KS3 pupils RE and sex education, but parents can opt to remove their child from both or either of those lessons. So for parents considering supporting their children through Key Stage 3, uh, can you tell me, does the Education Quizzes website cover all the subjects? Not quite. Uh, all subjects are covered with two exceptions, PE and Modern Foreign Languages. Okay, and exams are always worrying for parents. Uh, are there exams in Key Stage 3? Actually, no. Uh, not central or national exams, anyway. So how are the children tested? So they're assessed by their teachers, uh, and this can be done by looking at their coursework or by giving them internal tests. Does that mean with no exams, Key Stage 3 isn't as important? Oh, absolutely not. Uh, what children learn in Key Stage 3 sets the foundation for their GCSEs. How well they do in each subject will also have a bearing on their options. Their options? Yes, at the end of Key Stage 3, uh, children, with help from parents and teachers, choose which uh, subjects they want to study at GCSE level. That's a very important decision. Yes, uh, it makes sense for children to pick subjects that they're good at, uh, as well as the ones they enjoy, and ones that they'll need for their chosen career. But at the end of Key Stage 3, children are only 14. Isn't that very young to be making big career ambitions and plans? Yeah, it does. It seems very young. But they do receive guidance from the school. What sort of guidance? So it's every school's duty, by law, to provide independent, impartial advice to every child from the age of 12 upwards. On their future career? Partly, uh, they must inform the children of the range of educational training available, including apprenticeships and vocational training. I see, so children aren't left to their own devices? No, absolutely not. The, the person advising them must do so with the pupil's best interests at heart, and if they seem to be making the wrong choice, they will be advised accordingly. I see, I see. Well, uh, Key Stage 3 is a very busy time in any child's life. Uh, new schools, new teachers, and they've got to plan their future careers. So uh, we hope we've given you enough information there to help your child through it. Until next time, thank you, Alison, and we'll see you soon.